670. today with Ryan Thrushman from Tri-County Equipment. We're looking at this brand new six, S690. This is a class what? Nine combine? Tailings uh, system for our 680 and 690, our class 8 and class 9 combines. We have an active rethrasher instead of dumping it back into the front of the rotor. Uh, you see there, you got two settings one for uh, small grain, one for corn and beans. Has a beater and a concave and rasp bar all kind of combined into one up in there. Rethrashes your grain and puts it out on a shaker pan. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look inside this beast here. See our new 30% uh, bigger chaffer. Uh, 1.3 feet longer than a 9870. Looks to be to be about over uh, over six feet long, real close to it. Bottom sieve, uh, 0.7 feet longer, about 17% bigger than a 9870. And actually, the sieve on the bottom is uh, as big or bigger than the chaffer it was on the 9870. Due to the long uh, chaffer now, they did away with the self-leveling shoe. They found that it was more productive to add a side hill kit to this combine, which this one does not have. It would have some flaps that would go along the side of each, uh, each run here that would keep the grain from spilling out the back. Pop the cover off the straw chopper here. We'll show you how to change the, the speed. Uh, a lot different from uh, 70 series combine. You can see now that we have a two uh, two belt system. Before we only had one, and you had to change the belt on the high or low speed. Now I have a, a pull a pull knob right here. Right now it's in high speed, uh, all the way out. It's high. Push it all the way in low speed and you get it right in the middle is neutral and that's just the position that you'd run with the wind, wind, rowing, wind rowing wheat.
Hey, hey, don't be getting this on there. The thing that much. jumps out at you is the corner cap. It's a lot easier to read. Yeah, yeah. bright sunlight. Bright sunlight. And just look how narrow the, the corner cabs are. Uh, the cab is 30% bigger over your 70 series. Pretty much see the whole head all the way across on this 40 foot draper, your flex draper. And we have on our armrest, we have the 2630 right on the armrest instead of up on the, up on the corner post. You know what somebody needs to do is come up with auto steer to steer it up to the header cart. And that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. See how good Okay, you got room for a computer behind the seat. A couple of cup holders back there too, huh? There's about six of them in here. And, I left up my seat here a little bit. Got my nice lunchbox over here, tucked away. Got the big storage area over here. Pull that out, lots of stuff we put in there. The operator's manual down inside that cubby hole. Um, and we have our refrigerator. That's down here. Oh, yeah. Your lunch, a few drinks in there, whatever type of beverages you want. Got the coat hang up on a nice little coat rack up there. Oh, yeah. And combine has a Bluetooth radio on it, so you can make your uh, phone calls hand free just like on new tractors. All your air conditioners up in the roof now. Um, nice thin cab post. Uh, the cab's 30% bigger over your 70 series. And nice corner post display. It shows you all your uh, uh, minor loss, uh, new power meter, and then on the corner, on the armrest we have our uh, 2630, which is an option that you can order right on the combine. And then we still have the same pad, just like in your uh, 8,000 hours, 9,000 hours, 7,000 hours, 6,000 hours. They all have the same type of pad on the armrest. <clears throat> and they did add a nice feature to the hydro handle. You can now engage your auto steer before you let your head down. Well, it's a pretty nice cab. Lots, lots of room to see.